Hey guys, welcome to Diecast Reviews. So this is a review on all four tutors that appeared in Cars 1. You've got Snot Rod, Wingo, DJ, and Boost back there. I'll be doing a review on all four of them. They were all released in the 2020 Blue Desert Tuners series. Let's just grab a package here. Here's Snot Rod. It's the 2020 Tuners series there. Copyright 2019, obviously, so... Copyright a year before. You can see there's a nice picture of all four of the tuners right there. Perfect picture of all four that were released. Um, but I don't think Mattel's releasing any other cars in this series, so it's literally a four-car series made up of the four tuners. Got the mischievous. This mischievous gang has no concerns for speed limit or regard for other cars on the road. So, yeah, let's take a quick look at the package of all of them before getting into the video. Here's Snot Rod. T. Pline Pot is his other name in another language. I'm not sure which language that is, but that's kind of interesting. So there's Snot Rod. He was the first one released. DJ was the second one released here. There he is, DJ. Here's the card art for Snot Rod, if I didn't show it up good before. Here's the card art for DJ. Still copyrighted 2019. And you can see Wingo was on the package for Snot Rod. And then DJ got added over here. But Wingo was released after DJ. I think so anyways. Oh, I'm, I'm almost certain DJ was released before Wingo. I may be mistaken, but I'm, I'm, I'm almost certain. I got DJ before Wingo. And I think DJ was released before Wingo. I'm almost certain. That's that's what I'm going to say anyways. So you can see that is a prototype image from 2006 for DJ. You can see he's got no green uh, pinstriping, which was an error on the original ones released. And look at his eyes. They look terrible. But yeah, that's the original prototype for DJ. So that's DJ. Here is Wingo. Like I said, I believe was released after DJ. You can see they've got boost on the back as well. So yeah, this this had to be released after DJ, G, DJ if they've got boost on the back here. So there's Wingo. And then here is Boost. Who looks to be like the leader of the gang. And there's a nice card art of uh, there's Wingo. There's Boost. I feel like they've been using these card this card art for all the tuners since they were first released in like 2006. So um, let's get Snot Rod out of the package here first. Why not? I like Snot Rod. Let's get him out of the package. That's the Thailand variation. He looks pretty nice. Let's get him out. There he is. M43 is the base code. So we'll look at all the base codes and that will tell us if DJ was released before we go or after. Snot Rod, obviously, like a muscle car. It looks like maybe a late, I don't know, maybe a 60s muscle car that's all tuned up in the back. Got these huge, huge wheels that give him a very big stance. Got this huge motor in the front, obviously. I'm um, not exactly sure how you can see, but uh, that's a, a different problem for him. But very nice detailing on the motor. Let's see down there. Pretty, pretty cool. There's the grill. I think that says V8, if I'm not mistaken. Let's zoom in here. Uh, oh, no, that says SR. S and dash R. Yeah, right there, dash, S dash R. It says Snot Rod is the license plate. All of them have the license plate of their own uh, names. He's got, like, red line tires, which is pretty cool. Red stripe tires. Looks very nice. Got this black pinstripe that is small and gets bigger as it gets towards the back. Got the exhaust pipes where obviously huge fire comes out of them when he sneezes. It's a snot rod on the uh, black background. I love the orange color on like the papaya orange on snot rod. It shines here with the here on this die cast. Looks very nice. Let's see snot rod again. As I said on the base there. Got the tail lights right there. And uh I think he's got like a metal body and a plastic base, I do believe. And the red the red striping is not perfect, but it's pretty good. But yeah, I love the huge tires on Snot Rod. They're awesome. And there's the base. So yeah, Snot Rod is pretty cool. Um, he may actually be my favorite tuner. Uh, yeah, I, th I think Snot Rod may be my favorite tuner. I just love to compare all of them together. I'm 
but um, him and Wingo are at the top of the list for me. So there is Snot Rod. Let's move on to another one. Let's go to DJ. Let's go in order, I guess, of how they were released. Here is DJ. So here is DJ out of the package. First things first, we got to take a look at the base. And 19, like, there was a huge difference. Or uh, is a huge difference between these two base codes. And, I mean, yeah, he was released in, like, Case C, I think. And he was released in, like, August. So, like, early August. So, and he Case C was out in February, I believe. So, yeah, huge difference, which is why there's a huge code difference. But yeah, here's DJ. He's pretty heavy, honestly. Um, even though the spoiler is plastic on him. Looks pretty determined. I do kind of like the expression, honestly. He's got this little teensy pop out here, which would be like snot rods, huge pop out here, but it's just a little bit for a DJ there. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but that's always been there, but I don't really know why exactly that comes up, what exactly that is on his splitter, but looks kind of interesting. Got the uh, headlights. I've always loved DJ's rims. I love his rims. I think they look pretty cool. Got the green, like, lightning bolts, kind of. Green lightning bolts going down the side of him, uh, which was missing when he was first released in 2006. They were just blue, as uh, I showed you on the prototype. Yeah, I love those rims. This, obviously, is, like, a speaker thing. It kind of, like, goes from green to, or from, yeah, from green to red when he starts playing his songs. There was part of his uh, stereo uh, in the back. There are his tailpipes. Or exhaust pipes, I should say. You can see all like the where the music would come from, and this is like where he uses to cycle what uh, gets played. All right, that's what it looked like in the movie, anyways. But yeah, I mean, it was pretty cool in the movie with uh, you know being able to play music and all that. That you know, pretty unique character, honestly. Uh, there are his taillights. They look pretty cool. Three taillights on each side. There's the other side. There's the roof. Nothing on the roof. Just blue. Yeah, nice detail. We even got green on the uh, spoiler there. Yeah, there's the music system. Some more. Here's his other side. Here's the base if you want a closer look at it. And again, he's also got... Uh, Bigger wheels in the back, but there isn't such a huge difference between the wheels, so it you know, doesn't have as much of a stance. Still has a little bit of a stance, but uh, not as much of a stance as a snot rod. Because snot rod has a huge difference between the front wheels and the back wheels. So yeah, DJ's kind of like a minivan almost. Um, and I think that looks pretty cool to have like a tuner minivan. But uh, yeah, so let's give... He's kind of like shake as well that that's always been like a dj thing like kind of make him a little shaky because look how far in his wheels are but yeah, let's give dj a ride here on the turntable let's zoom out and let's move on to wingo here so dj's base code was oh was a uh, N and nineteen. Let's see what Wayne goes gonna have. Cause I do believe Wingo was released after DJ. So let's see. There he is Wingo. He looks awesome. I love the green paint on him. He's got yeah N twenty three A. So he was produced after DJ, and uh, he did come out after DJ. So I was right. And 23 is the base code for Wingo. And I'm assuming Boost is going to have an even later base code. Yeah, here is Wingo. I love the green on him. The green is perfect. Uh, like, I do bash Thailand a lot. You can see this is made in uh, Thailand right there. But these tuners, I think, look pretty cool. There's the purple on the front. I love Wingo. Really colorful design. You've got the purple in the front. You've got these little, like, random spikes. I don't exactly know what they do. But it seems kind of like a safety hazard, honestly. <laughs> but, um, yeah, there's his mustache right there. 
Then these purple, this purple comes up kind of, goes into like little swirl designs and then it goes into green. I mean, that looks awesome. Go to the side, the green, you know, there's a lot of different colors. You've got like red, orange, got a little bit of red and purple right there. And you've got that, I think that says Wingo in, but maybe, maybe that's just the scribbles. Maybe that doesn't mean anything, but I feel like it does mean something. Like I read somewhere that it meant something. Um, I think I read that it means Wingo, but I don't know. But yeah, it looks awesome. On the side, I love the different colors, the red, like I said, the orange, the purple, the green, they just work well together on Wingo. Got this other like spike thing coming out here, which again seems like another safety hazard. Again, his rims are cool as well. These uh, tuners have great rims. I love Wingos, they're probably my favorites, honestly. It's not really as kind of boring rims. DJ, pretty cool rims. Wingo, I love his rims. And then Boost. Uh, Boost has like snowflake rims, kind of. But uh, yeah, Wingo has amazing rims. I love his rims. He's got like this headband or something, which I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it kind of looks like a headband. Different color. Kind of has that shape. Go to the back here. He's got no graffiti or whatever on the back, just on the sides and the front. It says Wingo, and for some reason his uh, tailpipe... It's closed off. You can see how DJ's is open. Wingo's is closed off. <clears throat> Not sure why. It says Wingo there. And he's got this huge spoiler. Which, uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six rungs. I guess he's got textured on the sides. And, uh, yeah, that looks pretty cool. Huge spoiler. Wingo has... Uh, the huge spoiler is, like, Wingo's thing. Snot Rods is, like, the engine and the stance. And DJ's is obviously the music system. And Boost. I mean, Boost has a bunch of spoilers as well. And the Nitro cans. The Antua Cola cans, actually. In the back. So, yeah, that is Wingo. Let's give him a ride on the turntable. There's the other side. Which I, I don't think it spells anything, like I said, the graffiti. But I'm not sure. Yeah, that is a Wingo, and let's move on to the last one, Boost. There's Boost. Let's get him out of the package. And uh, so, yeah, so he would have to be after M23. Wow, that is very bad plastic. So M23 or later is what Boost would have to be. Let's see what he is. M25. So yeah, he was produced after Wingo, but he came out just basically right at the same time as Wingo did, but maybe a little bit later, which, I mean, he was produced just two weeks after Wingo, so here's Boost, he's pretty cool, I love, like, the carbon on him, and it's textured, and it's awesome, um, so yeah, let's get into Boost, uh, he's got, like, the splitter in the front, he's also got these, like, little spikes coming out, like, kind of like DJ, except his are a little... It's a little strange. Obviously, textured carbon. You go to the hood. Hood is also carbon and textured. There. Another, like, black uh, thing. Kind of looks also like a headband or something. Pretty cool expression, honestly, for Boost. I kind of like that expression. I like the mouth, at least. Maybe not the eyes, but I like the mouth. Go to the side. There are his rims. They have, like, uh, purple pinstriping. And the rims are kind of cool themselves. Go to the side here. You've got a little bit of texture right there. You'll see carbon goes along the fender. Kind of stops right there, but then resumes right at the door. Where the door would swing open. And it goes back up along the other fender. You've got boost there written on the side. More rims. More uh, purple pinstriping on the rims. I don't know why I said more rims. Obviously, there'd be more rims. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, but uh, go down. Go to the back. You've got Boost. He's from Metropolitis. Or Metro... Yeah, Metropolitis, I believe. Uh, one that I can actually read. Uh, I think that says... That says something city. I'm not sure which city. Definitely something city. Let's see, DJ... Doesn't even have a license plate. Probably illegal. 
Yeah, I don't know what that says. That's too blurry. But uh, yeah, there's Boost, and his exhaust pipes are open. Strange the wingles were closed. Uh, but there are the taillights. And uh, then he's got these huge two spoilers in the back. One stacked down top of the other, kind of like Kabuto, but Kabuto has even another one. Yeah, pretty cool spoilers there. And then he's got the N2O Cola cans of nitrous or whatever in the back. Yeah, that, that's pretty cool Easter egg there from Pixar. It is N2O Cola. And the side's the same as the other. So yeah, Boost is a pretty cool tuner. We'll see. Seems like he's the uh, kind of leader of the gang. It's kind of, I don't know, in my opinion, it's kind of what's implied in the movie at least. Let's give Boost here a ride on the turntable. And uh, let's get all the other tuners on. Or let's get all the other tuners up here. Okay, Wingo, he wants to uh, escape. And uh, all four of these cars actually do have a Meet the Cars book, en a book entry, so... Uh, we'll take a look at all four of them, because why not? Let's zoom out here. Let's start with Boost. He's a Kyoku Jitsu, which I'm not even sure is a real model, but whatever. It says, Boost wasn't always a gang leader. When he was younger, he worked at a garage for elderly, elderly cars, where he befriended an early drop tank racer who turned him on to the ways of racing with nitrous. Learning from the master, who had racked up records on the Great Salt Lake, Boost promised the old timer he'd keep the tradition alive. There's Wingo, and he's a uh, vehicle type, is a Wingo, which definitely not a real car. It says, in grade school, Wingo's outrageous, inappropriate paint schemes didn't comply with the school's strict paint code and got him into big trouble, like a dress code. Uh, these days, Wingo makes a good living designing paint schemes for an Ill illustrious clientele at his own custom paint shop. Now that his paint jobs don't get him into trouble, Wingo and his gang find new ways to do that. DJ is a Reco Do Spinner. And from an early age, DJ, whose full name is Devin Montgomery Johnston III, very uh, very professional name, was interested in all kinds of music. He had a very voracious appetite for collecting records and was a gifted student in a nationally renowned East Coast Music Conservatory. One evening at a friend's party, Dingo Devin... <laughs> Matt, I tried to combine uh, DJ and Wingo. There, Devin met a gentle car by the name of Wingo. An expert in paint and body modification, Wingo designed a custom paint scheme for Devin and a wicked sound system to match. Now going by the name DJ, Devin reveals, revels in his trouble but never loses touch with his base. There's DJ, and here is Snotrod, who is a Brag... Brag... Bragatron? None of these, I think, are real cars. Snotrod took his doctor's advice and headed west to find some clean, crisp mountain air to relieve his chronic allergies. On the way, he met up with Boost, DJ, and Wingo. The highly modified car group uh, made him the head of security and crowd control. He still has allergies and explosive sneezing, sneezing attacks, but his ability to clear the road of pesky traffic is unmatched and much appreciated by his buddies, who like the road all to themselves. So yeah, that is the bios of all four uh tuners pretty pretty interesting i like that uh, you know pixar does these little bios uh kind of gives us a backstory of uh, where each of these guys came from and a very cool professional sounding name for a dj so yeah that should do it for my review on the tuners i hope you guys enjoyed the video uh hit that like button subscribe and in the comments below tell me what is your favorite tuner i probably have to go with snot rod or wingo so yeah uh, let let me know down in the comments below and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'm uh, doing some organizing, as you can see over to the side right there. I'm doing some organizing. Uh, so, yeah, some of these cars will definitely be in future videos. Pretty sure you can kind of can guess which ones it will be and which ones uh, won't be. But, yeah, so stay on the lookout for that. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.